Today we're going to do a visual journal check. And what that means is we're going to um, take pictures of our pages and turn them in. And when you take a picture of your page for this assignment, the first thing I want you to know is I want you to take a picture of the whole spread. So whatever is left and right of the spine is considered the spread. And so this would be like page one and two spread. Okay, three and four spread. Okay, and um, last class, I think Friday, we went through and I just literally told you every single thing we did. So if you have not, um, if you weren't here on Friday, you might want to go and watch that video. Um, it's in the modules. Um, but um, you might have made a list in the back of the things that you didn't do yet. And then um, when you look at this assignment, you'll be able to then find those things on the assignment and go and do them before you take pictures. So you want your journal to have everything before you take pictures. Um, so I'm going to go over to Canvas and take you there and show you how the assignment is made. For this assignment to find it, it is in modules. It is called the visual journal check number one. Now you notice I have this other thing here. Don't, don't do anything with that yet. Okay. I'll talk about that next, but you're going to click on this here. This is an assignment. It's worth 20 points. It's due Wednesday, but then you have um, an additional week to get it done. Um, the things, the file types are the things that you really need to pay attention to. The file types are docs, doc, or PDF. Basically, this is a Word document. And I'm going to show you how to do all that in a minute. Okay. So all of these things are the things that we went through um, last Friday on what we should have had in our journal. We did these, you can see, over two weeks. Okay. And if you don't have, like these ones in here, are all part of this video here. Okay. Um, so, but the rest of them have all individual videos that you can click on and do. So the first thing you want to do is go through and make sure you have all of these in your journal somewhere. Okay. So that's the first step. The second step is you're going to click and you're going to download this template because this is how you turn it in. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to click template here. And you'll notice that once I click the template, um, it says here, I could, I could look at it here, but that's not going to help me turn it in. I need to download it. So you're going to click download visual journal. And it might be down at the bottom of your um, screen here, and it will probably go to your downloads. Okay, so um, I can look here and I can either open, open this file type or show in folder. Right now I'm just going to show in folder so that I can show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like in my folder here. And um, you're going to right click on it and you want to open with, oops, Word. Okay, you're going to open it with Word. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so here we have the Word document. And if it opens in Office 365, you need to to click on it and say open in um, Word app, you know, that kind of thing. But the, what you need to do here is this is the key, enable editing. When you click that, click it, it's going to open up to um, a Word file here. And this is actually a form. So this is, um, there's not a lot you can do on this form, but the things that you can do is what I want you to do. So you, um, you're going to go to page one and two here. And 
um, you're going to check all the boxes that apply. So on your page one and two, maybe you have um, collaged shapes and maybe you have some of your fodder. And you can see how I'm clicking on these. Maybe you have some of the cut up journal free write that's like I am. Maybe you had some shapes. So you have multiple things usually on one page. So you're going to check the box of all the students or all the, all the um, techniques that you have on that page. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to insert the picture of it. So you're going to, I guess I'll choose from a file. Okay. So wherever you have stored your pictures. So let me find my journal pictures here. And here is the picture of my first page. You can see it's sideways. And so I would appreciate it if you use these little tools like this to make it not sideways and to you could make it a little bit bigger. Oops. If you do that, hold down your shift key there and it makes it bigger, but it doesn't have to be super big. Okay, then I'm going to go to page three and four and I'm going to check the boxes that are the techniques on that page and it looks like I'm going to insert it right there. Okay, then I'm going to do the same for pages five and six, seven and eight, and nine and ten. Okay, if you had page 11 on your journal, um, I'll show you what to do when you submit it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, save this, and you want to put your name, right? Put your name. I'll just put Ms. O example. Okay. And hit save. Make sure it's a Word document. Okay. So there's lots of options here. Hit save. And mine probably went to, oops, there we go. Mine probably went wherever I saved it. Now I'm going to go back to Canvas. So let me go do that. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the visual journal check here. And once I made that document, I could submit my assignment. I can choose my file and I will go up to my journal resources. There's my Word document. I'm going to put it in. Oh, and it says that that Word document isn't accepted. So Miss O, I will fix that. And you're going to hit submit. Okay. However, if you have a picture of page 11, which some of you do, you can just submit page 11 right here. Add another file. And you can just choose a file um, that is just the picture. So let me just present, pretend that's the picture. Okay. And I will add JPEG and I will add DOCX to the list of approved things to upload in just one minute. So, um, and then you're going to hit submit and you're going to be done. So that is how you work with this template here. It's really important that you turn it in with this template.